It's time to switch your kiddo from rear to forward facing mode in the Graco Extend Fit. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to install the seat. And I'm gonna let you in on one of the key issues that you need to be aware of. When you're switching the seat from rear to forward facing mode, a couple of things that you need to do before it's time to install. You're gonna change the recline angle so that it lines up with the required forward facing recline angles. You're going to unhook the tether strap right here from the back of the seat. Now it's time to start using this when we're in forward facing mode. And if you're going to use lower anchor connectors to install the seat forward facing, we've got to change the belt path that they're in. So right now, the lower anchor connector strap is routed here through the rear facing belt path. So I'm going to release them from their storage location on the side. Let me show you how to do this. It's not hard, but it's a little tricky if you've never done it before. So you're gonna grab the lower anchor connector strap and pull it towards the side that has this metal bar running through it. Put your other one through here as well. So now it's gonna kind of look like this. And then you're just gonna shimmy it up on this metal bar right back here. And you can reach in through the forward facing belt path and grab it on this side. Get it back behind that crotch buckle and then pull it out through the forward facing belt path on that side and do the same on this side. Make sure that you're not interfering with the harness or the crotch buckle in any way and that the strap is laying nice and flat. Now you would be ready to install it with the lower anchor connector strap. But as I'm looking at this, there is a twist through the belt pass. So I'm just gonna untwist it so that my lower anchor strap is like stapler side up like this. So when it's time to install it, it's gonna be free of twists and in the correct position. So you've gotta do that if you're using the lower anchor connectors to install the seat. A reminder that lower anchor connectors have a weight limit. So for this particular seat, 45 pounds is the max your child can weigh in order to be able to use this installation method. I'm gonna show you how to install lower anchor connectors, but I gotta tell you, when you switch your kiddo forward facing, my recommendation is to just use the seat belt to install the seat, because then you never have to remember the lower anchor connector weight limit, and you know they're gonna reach it pretty soon no matter what in forward facing mode. So I'll show you lower anchors, but I highly recommend that you use the seat belt installation method from the get-go when forward facing. Before we get into installation with lower anchor connectors and the seatbelt, I want to alert you to one of the key nuances of this seat. Now we know the Graco Extend Fit is meant to keep your child rear facing as long as possible, hence the name Extend to Fit. If you decide to turn your child forward facing when they are still under 40 pounds, then you are required to use recline level four, which you can see on this side. I have the seat in that recline position now, and just notice how it's angled in the vehicle. I don't even have it installed yet, but you can tell it's sort of awkwardly angled. And in many vehicles, it means it's going to overhang the vehicle seat, which is only allowed up to 20%. So if you have a shallow vehicle seat pan, this is likely not going to be able to even be installed in your car forward facing if you're gonna put a kiddo that weighs less than 40 pounds in it forward facing. So let me install it real quick and I'll show you. So this is what it looks like when it's installed on that recline level four. You can obviously see that it is in fact reclined quite a bit for a forward facing seat. And while it's not an issue for overhang in this vehicle, it can be in many vehicles all the more reason to keep your kiddo rear facing as long as possible. We've got a video for you on that if you wanna know why it's the safest way for our kids to ride. All right, on to lower anchor installation. 
All right, so recline, belt path, top tether anchor. Three things we've got to change when going from rear to forward facing. So let me get this recline in position five or six, which again can only be used when your kiddo is 40 pounds or more. Go ahead and get your top tether anchor strap out and lengthen it a bit. And you're gonna have to route it based on how your vehicle requires. So bust out your vehicle manual and in the child passenger safety section, look at it. It'll say exactly how your top tether strap has to route in relation to your vehicle headrest. For this particular vehicle, it goes right through the middle of the headrest. I'm not gonna attach it right now, but I am gonna get it out from the back of the seat. I've definitely made the mistake of forgetting to do that, fully installing the seat, and then having to uninstall to get the top tether strap out. So don't make that same mistake. Get that baby back there. We've changed the recline angle, as I said, and we have rerouted the lower anchor connector strap through the forward facing belt path. So I'm gonna unattach them. I went ahead and stored them. Unattach them from each side. We're going to connect them to the vehicle. Again, fat side up. We want it to look like a stapler when we put it in. All right, so seat is attached to the vehicle, but it's not installed yet. We've got to get all the slack out of the lower anchor strap. I'm going to pull this all the way up so you can really see what I'm doing here. All right, you want to grab the tail of the lower anchor connector strap. So I'm going to feed it through to my hand inside the shell of the car seat. And in this case, because my body's on this side of the seat and the tail is on the same side that I'm on, I've got to pull the tail that way towards you. I could also reposition my body on this side of the car seat and pull it towards me if I wanted to do that. And frankly, if I can't get it tight enough this way, that's exactly what I'll do is move my, move my body over there. So grab the tail. I'm gonna to try to do it with my left hand. This is literally my MO of how I install seats. My leg is always kicked up here in the vehicle because I use my leg to push the car seat into the vehicle seat back. Grab that tail and pull it. Again, I'm pulling this way. I'm gonna depress down on the seat and wiggle. Frankly, like I said, I find this to be like a bit more awkward. So I'm gonna move over here and make it much easier. Less sweat for me. All right, same knee situation. Oh, look at that. Now I can like easily, you know, go with the direction and I'm getting so much slack out of the lower anchor strap. All right, now I'm gonna attach the top tether into the designated position. Tighten it up, just remove any extra slack. And now it's time to do the final test for tightness, which is done at the belt path. So where we've routed the lower anchor connectors, I can't get any movement front to back, side to side in any direction. You can never have more than an inch of movement. Okay, so once your kiddo has reached the max weight limit for the lower anchor connectors, or as I said, you can always just use the vehicle seatbelt installation method from the get-go. If you're using lower anchor connectors, store them. There's little tabs right here on the side that you can click it into. So they're out of the way. And now we're gonna use the vehicle seatbelt. Vehicle seat back is in its most upright position. I've checked that the seat is within the overhang allowance for the vehicle seat and what's permitted by the car seat. Grab that top tether strap and get it routed the way that's required. Just sort of throw it back there for now and make sure you got your recline in whatever's required for the seat. For this one, again, five or six, so long as your kiddo is over 40 pounds forward facing. So vehicle seatbelt, same thing as what you saw for the lower anchor connectors. We're gonna route it through this forward facing belt path. If you want some more visibility to really see what you're doing and as you're learning how to install the seat, raise the headrest, open up that padding, you can see exactly what you're doing. Take the vehicle seatbelt, hand it through that path to your other hand, route it till it comes out this side, and then buckle it in. We're attached, but we're not installed tightly. So we've got to lock the vehicle seatbelt, 
for the majority of vehicles that are manufactured after 1996, they have this kind of a retractor where you can switch it into this locking mode. You'll hear that ratcheting noise. Okay, now we've got to tighten things up. My, I've assumed the typical position for me. My knee is here in front of the seat so I can push it back. I'm gonna separate the shoulder belt from the lap belt with one hand. I'm gonna take my other hand and use it to depress down into the seat. Shimmy, shake. The lap belt's getting really tight around the car seat. I'm even using like my belly a little bit, you know, just to kind of get any leverage that I can. Hold that slack taut, feed it up into the shoulder belt retractor. I'm gonna do an initial test for tightness. Oh yeah, it's not moving at all. But now I've gotta attach the top tether and then I'll do a total once over check. When attaching top tether anchors, you wanna be really careful that where you are attaching them is actually the designated location. So often we see families attach top tethers to cargo hooks or other places that just look like this little tether could attach to, please don't do that. Check your vehicle manual for the designated top tether anchor positions in your car. And sometimes, by the way, like on this car, they're in the ceiling. So for the middle seat in this vehicle, this one is on the ceiling and the passenger and driver sides are right there. All right, do the final test for tightness. Again, right here at the belt path where the vehicle seatbelt is routed, it's not moving in one inch in any direction, always has to be less than one inch, proper recline on the vehicle seat in the right way. This seat is perfectly installed forward facing. As a reminder, installation is part of the equation. You also gotta make sure that your kiddo is harnessed properly as well. We have tons of videos for you on our channel about that. As always, we would love to have you subscribe here at Safe in the Seat. Like this video if you found it helpful and drop in the comments below if you learned something that you maybe didn't know before about how to install a seat or something specific to the Graco Extend to Fit.